you need to come over and close the tree. Want to start? Hi, everyone. <coughs> Joke on that story again. Yeah, no, you do. No, I don't. You're welcome to my Venus. No, no, I'm not. You do that. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Lally Venus. I'm not looking at. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at you. I need to look at that. Right. <coughs> Hi everybody, Hello. welcome to Lally Bee Knits, um, my special guest, my sister Chloe, um, everyone loved her last time, um, loved her cheek, being cheeky, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so she's back for another little podcast and today we don't have a huge amount of knitting so what we thought we'd do is um, talk about our plans for sock knitting for Christmas. Yeah. We love knitting socks for Christmas and we love Christmas yarn and I have a lot of it to show and I got a lot of goods in the mail because I went a bit crazy um so that's our plan for today hello yay thank you for coming back look at how fabulous your hair looks thanks I did yeah. get a cut actually it looks great thank you um we'll start off with what I'm wearing because I always forget this is my um wool and honey jumper by Andrew Murray. Can't really see the pattern. Oh, there you can see it. This is in Giddy Ants Yarns. It is their Black Current Jam colorway. That's a nice name, isn't it? It's lovely. It really looks like Black Current Jam. Yeah, it it's does. It's coming up a little, maybe redder on screen. It's a really deep, purple. lovely purple. Yeah, I love it. Your favorite. It is one of my favorite jumpers. I knit it for my birthday, maybe 2019. Mm. Um, it was the first successful jumper in it, so one of my favourites. You're not wearing any hand No, knitwear? well, no, yes. Not even my socks, actually. Oh, I have a pair of socks. I don't know if I want to swing my leg up. <laughs> <laughs> These are little shorties that I knit in the summer. No, yeah, I haven't got any, any knitted wear on. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, Chloe has... Are, fin are they finished? Her They're not finished. No. Halloween sock updates. Chloe is the queen of Halloween. Um, well, I didn't even finish anything. Yeah, but you still love Halloween. I do love Halloween. And you love Halloween knitting. And she's got her I just thought socks updates. because we showed the yarn last time, I would give an update on what it's turning into. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, so I'm doing the afterthought heel. And I'm going to use your video. Show me oh. how to do it. I haven't done it yet though. But yes, yeah, so I'm knitting these socks with the little cats on them. They are so cute. And this is the Hocus Pocus. Wait, no. Spellbound? Spellbound yeah. by Giddy Ants. God, it changes colour completely with that purple. Doesn't it? Yeah, have you knitted this one, one yet? Yeah, mine was orange. I knit the one that was going to oh, red up and yes. do a pattern. So yes, and then I'm this far into the other one. Just That's knit so and nice. then. Um, do my afterthought heels. Show the little colour work pattern again. That's so there. nice. Did you go up a needle size though? Or did you just knit your own? Oh, I, I did, see. yeah. No, I went up a size. So it'll look lovely whenever you block it out. It'll look lovely and straight. Yeah. So yeah, very happy. Should I find the pattern name? Yeah. I should have this is lovely. Nice. It really does change the yarn the when you add the purple to it. And that was the purples from Biff Sugar, wasn't it? No, Spellbound is Giddy Ants. No, the purple. Oh yeah, you're right. The bit the, the, it was the, the witched mini set that we showed. Oh, oh, here it is here. It's called Kitty Cuffs Socks by Fishhead Creations. Ooh. That's it there. Nice. It is These nice. These are so cute. And do you know what? It's not been like, um, it's nice doing your colour work, like you said in your last podcast, like mm -hmm. at the top. Um, so yeah, they're cute. You've not got too much left in it before you're at the toe for this one. Yeah, no. You could get that done in a couple of evenings. Yeah. Well, I was working on it last night. That's how much I did last night. That's low From the marker. Um, then I got my wrist sort of getting a bit, like my hat fingers were getting a bit sore. I think it's your needles. I think so it's too. it's awkward knitting with a lot. Well, I find it awkward. I find nails. it awkward too. I think it is the nails. But yes, yeah, so these are my 
Oh, and the jumper, I haven't done anything to on it since. That's for next year. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my Halloween, my Halloween update. Nice. <clears throat> I don't have my Halloween socks with me, but you saw them last week, I finished them. So that's good. So, you have a finished Christmas. object to show. Yep. Before we get into Christmas. So do you want to show your finished object? Yes, this is a knit that I completed, I think it was two years ago. And it's a rhombus or oh, rhombus? Rhombus? A rhombus hat. I don't know who's why. And the yarn is Biff Sugar. I believe it's called Mountain Hair. Yeah, I think that is it. So yeah. I'll link the pattern. I haven't actually worn it yet. I don't know. Sometimes I thought it looked a bit weird on me. No, I think it looks really cute. Especially with your hair. That length as well. Yeah, not bad. No, I, I guess it has really short hair nice. whenever I... Well, to hear hair. Yeah. Um, I don't know who it's by. It is by. But, so you knit that. I think you don't even knit in. So you learned to knit when you were in A-levels, but you were only really knitting for maybe two or three months before you knit this. Like, it's not a beginner pattern. You've got twisted rib. You've got lace eyelets and little bobbles and cables. Like, it's... Thanks, girl. It's a really good pattern for like maybe your third knit pattern well i actually can't find it though. i'm not weird library and then it's good then oh here <clears throat> and it's by oh Rumi. oh demalata demalata i don't know sorry we'll Rumi. oh it's link. flipped oh you can't see it anyway it but won't flip it'll go <laughs> not me, look, it was flipped. I know, but it'll go straight look. once we put it up. Oh, really? <laughs> it's okay. not backwards. <laughs> Are you it, sure? it flips and every... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a running joke in all the little knitting podcasts and people hold stuff up and they're like, oh, this is back to front. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, no, but this was the hat I made like two years ago. Well, it must have been on wood in two years if your scent was... Well, because I made a hat before this one. Did you? Do you remember my big, do you remember my stitch? I forget what they were called, but it was a kit and it was to make a big grey hat oh, with a yeah. bubble. So I had made that one before. What were they called? Stitch and something? You can get them in like little local yarn stores. They're yeah. little box cute Bags. kits. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, you did knit that too. That's still my And that was hat. in 2017. I knit that hat, the other hat. Mm hmm. But I don't even have big habit anymore. But I think the reason you haven't worn that is because you knit it and then the pandemic hit. Hobbs. Anyway, God it's knows lovely. Sister. Thank you. Well done, us for remembering the yarn. I know, actually. That was good. So is that so <clears> have you been knitting on anything recently apart from those wee cat socks? No. Okay. Nothing new to what I want to cast on some Christmas socks. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I don't think I've made a huge amount of progress on this oh since God. I showed it last. This is Granda's Christmas present, my oh. base birthday present. So this is exactly like his blue one, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's called the Duotone Cowl. No, Duotone Coil. And it is knit out of Life in the Long Grass. This colour is Barn and this colour is Doe. So Winston had to do. Do. It's a lovely colour. Grandel will love that. He will. So he is a blue man, man, but this is a nice change. Well, he wanted red. He supports Liverpool. True. Um, so he wanted red. Um, Bless him. So I've done 10 repeats here. I think I have five more to do. And then I will close it up. The blue won't be there. And then that'll be his birthday present. So do you have to... Ready to go. How do you close it up? So what I'm going to do is... Put that on a pair of needles? Put the dough stitches on needles pick them up, cut the blue off, and then kitchener it like you would kitchener a toe in a sock. Mm. Oh, which I think is written in the pattern. That's what I'm going to do regardless. <laughs> but um, I think it's in the pattern. It? You can. I don't think I twisted his last one, did I? I think you did. Hmm. But I haven't this decided. One, have this one untwisted yeah. then. It makes a change. I haven't decided. It reminds me of shortbread. Yeah, like so I might get a little them. tin of shortbread and then I mentioned last week I'm gonna knit with the leftovers because I do have a lot of yarn left over. Oh yes, Henry, a jumper finally. Not a jumper, I'm gonna knit oh. Henry a matching one. A and scarf. A little cow, right? <laughs> Look at this face. I'm gonna 
on a mat. I'm gonna I've never seen a dog it. wear a scarf. Yeah, no, but it's just for Granda. So I'm gonna knit Henry a matching one, wrap it up, and give it to Granda along with this, so that Granda can put his matching scarf on Henry and be delighted with it. Yeah. Granda will love that. Yeah. I don't know if Henry will love it, but Granda will. So don't tell him. And then when's he gonna get a jumper? Well, see, the thing is, Henry doesn't like jumpers. I know we spoke about this, but he wears them that often. <laughs> After Christmas, maybe. He's standing at the door waiting to get out, and if he starts shipping, I'm gonna get across. Do you want me to get him out? Listen to that. Do you want me to let him out? No. Right. Stop it. You come here, Henry. Come here. Be a good boy. Just needs a bit of attention. <laughs> he doesn't like, he thinks that we're on FaceTime and that he's been with Oh her. yeah, he does. So that's Granda's present. Um, Very nice. You've done a lot to that. <laughs> yeah. When did you start it? Um, you really went through the week before. projects like, don't you? Well, that one's on quite big needles. And also, um, really, there's only maybe three or four evenings knitting in it if you're sitting just mm. knitting that. You could definitely get it done in a weekend. If that's all you were knitting. Because it's just straight stock in it in the round. True, yeah. But you can't get boring. Well, well it has because it because you change the yeah, stripes, it doesn't get quite so boring. Um, so that was one project that I knit a little bit on. Mm -hmm. The main project I worked on is in this little handmade bag I made last year. Cute. Um, right, let's let him out. Okay. 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 Um... One of the other things I've been knitting on this week is in this little handmade project bag from last year, the year before maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I cast, these are a new cast on. I have no business casting new things on. Oh, I love the sparkle, let's yeah, say. Yeah, I know. So this is West Yorkshire Yarns and it is um, vintage tinsel. Oh, nice name. two socks this week without heels. I need to put heels in. They're so cute, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I really love cute. the sparkle. The sparkle's nice. So nice. How much was the yarn? Probably like eight or nine pounds. Our wee love. local shop um, folklore stocks a lot of it, and I think I got that in there. Do you know, I actually like that it's a silver sparkle. Yeah, look how sparkly. Oh, it doesn't smell. It smells no, so like cheap. Fluff. 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 Um. So, this is how much I knit yesterday. That's a lot. That compared a lot to compared to my little bit, I was like, <laughs> well, to be fair, I was reading um, academic books. It's good that you can read and knit. Yes, it is good that I can read and knit because it keeps my brain like engaged in the. Yeah, that's quite stuff. smart, actually. Um, so that's but much I love. But I did them. knit more than I read. And here, these for you? No, these are going to be a little present for someone for someone who sometimes watches the podcast. So I shan't. Name them. Whisper. Who? <laughs> didn't even hear you. Don't you don't know them. But I didn't, I didn't hear. Come on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it didn't sound like you said anything. Like <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. And for that person. Lovely. They're very nice. You're in for a treat. They're very... It's like 70s, 80s Christmas I books. actually love that though. Do you? Oh yeah. Well look how much is left. So I'm going to knit a wee heel, mm -hmm. cut them in. That My heels usually take three grams each. Quite perfect the stripes are. Like, I know. It's not even like, like that. It's so satisfying. It's mind -boggling so to me. I, I need another that. six grams and then you can have the rest of it if you want. Make some shorties. Yeah, that'd be fun. I can stick the heels on those today. Stick the heels on them, girl. Them. And are you doing them with the same? Yeah, yeah. but I'll need to measure where I'm going to cut in and then I'm going to start with the same stripe colour. Oh, what a faff. Yeah, but it'll look nice. Don't know if I'd be bothered, but yeah. Well, I have a little mini that would go with that if you want it, so you can make yourself some. They're cute. Socks. Yeah, they're lovely. That's nearly a finished object. Um, Ooh, practically Christmas finished. finished. So that'll be a nice wee Christmas present, I think. I think this and some homemade either gingerbread Ooh. or some, they also Short really bread. like, um, remember the marshmallows we did? Oh yes. They love those. So maybe some marshmallows. And the fudge is always there. Yeah, nails. So we, every year, um, probably around the 23rd, 
we all get together and bake. I've actually gingerbread. baked it off work. Have you? Yeah, good. I'm off work too. Um, we bake gingerbread in my house and have a big, big day of icing gingerbread. Sometimes we make um, mince pies, marshmallows. Yeah. Neil makes fudge. Mm -hmm. Me and Sophie used to, when we were like kids, used to make truffles, remember? Chocolate truffles? Oh, yeah. You should make those again. I might make them again. I've seen in Jane's patisserie book, she's got, was it her? Someone has truffles in them and I was like, oh mm. yeah. So I might make truffles. Nice. Go to Hobbycraft and get the wee bags and all. Do you know what I was thinking as well? Do you know the way you like your hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. Hot chocolate. Mm. Is that not like flakes of chocolate? Mm. You can roll your truffles in that. Mm. That'd be so, rather than cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be so nice? Mm. Would be delish. delish. But that's it. Do you mean my hotel chocolate? I like roll them in that. Yeah. They're expensive. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that would be nice. But they had some interesting flavours. But yeah. Mm. Um, so that's what we're talking about with that. We use, I like to, if I can, and if, if I know the person likes knitted stuff, I like to give them a little hand knit gift and a wee homemade gift. That's cute. Very homely. So, maybe I should socks. start knitting gifts for people. That Halloween jumper will never get done <laughs> if you knit gifts for people. Yeah, and yeah. neither will my stuff for me. You can have this wee purple mini if you want to go with it. Oh, yeah, it's what I was originally going to put with it. Oh, yeah, that's And I just went whole hog. That is nice. That's a really good price point for a yarn. For like, that's a little gift I have, and it was seven or eight pounds. That is good. pretty good. But then the time you put into it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, in terms of like, if you want to knit some Christmas socks for, um, gifts, and then keep your beautiful Christmas yarn for yourself. <laughs> you can. <laughs> So that's all that I've been knitting on this week. So now, what I have with me is my box of socks. Ooh. My friend. Oh, you've still got the label on your box? <gasps> Stop. I can mention the people oh, that can't tell. That would annoy me. You can't tell. You can pick it up for me. Anyway, this is the little box of socks that I have. Oh, these moved, are Christmas ones? Well, I moved all my Christmas ones to Into top. Ah, oh, okay. So, um, what I thought we would do is show you guys the socks that we've knit for Christmas's past. That's yes. the Halloween top. Let me get mine then. Yeah. That did make sense. Let me get mine too. Then. Mine then. Well, some of ours are matching. Oh, yeah. So, here. Oh, I also knit Amy a pair of socks. I am giving. You're very generous. <laughs> I am giving. I am. You think I am? Yeah, I don't think I have. I think I pulled out that colour work. <gasps> you've not got this one. You have? I've li you've literally got it in your hand? No, this is a different. It's the same set. Oh, you mean socks? I'm talking about the yarn. Oh, right, right. Yeah. I haven't knit that pattern. Oh my god. Big, big foot. <laughs> <laughs> that sock blocker is for your foot size. Oh. Do you smell my feet with me? Oh no. It's a it's between four and oh, six, okay. I think. So my show my first. Yes. This was when did I make this one? Last year? Two years ago. No, Natalie, surely not. What <laughs> yes, was our, was two what was years our Christ, ago? What was our Christmas? Oh, this one? Because last year we discovered Biff Sugar. No, not Biff Sugar. Last year we discovered Bird Street. Yeah. So that was our Christmas run. I didn't place. knit any of that. You just bought it? I just bought it. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and that's why I don't need to buy any more yarn this year. But anywho, this is shortbread, isn't it? Mm -hmm. By... This is the one I was talking about last week. So this is a Giddy Ant Yarns um, sock set called shortbread. And then if you show closely, they've got little flecks of green. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks very much like tartan. Oh, so cute. I love these socks. And these are all washed, so nobody get afraid. I'm showing you a pair of dirty socks. No. <laughs> I don't think anyone was thinking you were showing dirty socks. Well, nah, just in case. All clean. <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, so what? So, Giddy Ants shortbread? Giddy Ants shortbread. And I can't remember set. the pattern. Um, have you not got it on your own? I probably do have it on my phone. <clears throat> 
Bear with me. We're not very organized well, today. The thing you can do is job counting. <laughs> oh, it's They're on, on the, the fence. fence. By fish head again. We love a fish head. You love fish head design? So, fish head creations mm. on the fence. What a cute name. But yeah, that's one sock. Oh, that's very them cute. Off. So, let me show you my sock in the same colour way. These are the... Will you put that on for me? These are the... Oh yeah, these look like short bread. Paddington Station socks. Oh, what's going on? What is going on, sister? Oh, yours are long? Yes, I know. Like granny long? No. Because granny loves long socks. These are Paddington Station um, socks. socks by... I think it's this handmade love. Let me see. That looks like short bread. Ambrose it? Smith. Yeah, I thought they looked like shortbread. Um, Cute. Ambrose Smith pattern. That's one of the Miss Marple sock patterns. Just so you can I see. I love detail. that pattern. I would knit it again in a heartbeat. It was very easy to memorize. Really? Yeah. It's supposed to look like train tracks, but it actually makes me think of, you know, the little frilly um, petticoat things that you get from in shortbread. Like a tutu? No, in shortbread. You know, in shortbread, you get like the wheel, and it's called petticoat tails. <laughs> <laughs> never heard that you before. Granny gets it. Petticoat tails. Yes. I've never heard that word in my life. You back. bring Vera and ask her. Are you talking about the. I know a wheel of shortbread, and it's called a petticoat tail. The other day. Yeah, it's Didn't called petticoat <laughs> tails. Didn't know that. Bought it in a shop, and well, there you go. It's quite nice to see the same colourway and different. Yes, it is. Different actually, yarns. Yeah. All right. Same yarn, different patterns. Yeah. So that is a little sock, Christmas sock that I knit last time, last year. Okay, here's your blockers. The key, this is the one from last year. I must really do a sock a year. Mm, that's lovely. And this one is pixie yarn. Oh, these were shorties as well. Pixie yarn in candy cane lane. Wait, Love. Is it candy cane lane? Or is it just candy cane? Something like that. How cute though. Absolutely I love, love these. That's strange. And I've diamonds. actually got leftover yarn of it. Mm, did you not give it to me? Nope. It's in my bag. Well, I thought I was getting it. You can have it. Oh, I got your Halloween stuff. That's what it was. Yeah. I mean, you can. I have a pair, so if you want to make a pair, I would give you it. It's okay. Thank you. Why? Okay. Well, no, then I'll keep it. But yes, so there we go. Shake it a And this is just, you know, stocking out. A little sock, you know. Yeah, but it goes so fast whenever you have self striping. Well, yes, and I feel like I'm a bit, bit busy with a pattern, personally. Bit busy. Bit busy. Thank you, Mark. These, can you remember the sock, the yarn for this? I believe this That's is... That's Gingerbread Man? Yeah, by Bird Street Bird Arms. Street. I think... I made this pattern up, but I'm and not then sure. that's Drunken Santa, is it? I think you made it up. Yeah, surely. I think you did make it up. Did I? Yeah, I think I made it up. If I didn't, I will credit the designer below, of course. There's little bobbles here. I'll show. And it's a little micro striper, is that? And it's sparkle. Little bobbles, the bobbles are cute. I love the difference between, if you show the top of the sock and the bottom, look at the difference stuck in it looks in in the micro striper. Yeah. It's just so nice. Oh. So you can get that, cut. well, I don't know if there's uh, they have stock in it, but keep an eye out on Bird Street Yarns because they are doing that colour again this year. Something like I'm the Gingerbread Man, something mm -hmm. like that. This is a cute wee thingy. It's really cute. We're from um, Beehive Yarns. Nice. Cute. You are supposed to put two in your basket if you want to buy two. Oh, did you think you were getting two? You bet. But she says explicitly, so that's my own fault. Do you really need two? No. Yeah, because I'm not going to use my nice Oh, I forgot block. these are different. And then this was my first pair of Christmas socks. Oh, I have that yarn too, I'll show you. Um, I forget what this yarn's called. This is a good, I think it's just a Christmas colour, right? Oh, I have a matching sock to you. We knit the same. We did, but hold on, I'll show my other one then. Okay. 
Because I did. So this is a sock set with, you got this mini and the red mini as well. Yeah, that was so good. You got a lot of yarn with that. I've still got the, yeah. Can you remember the pattern? It is a pattern. Oh yeah, there's a pattern. Wait, find. I'll find the pattern while you show. So I did my mixy match. Oh. <laughs> that's not the right one. I did mine mix. I did mine completely <laughs> different. I did mine as a mix match. These are our Christmas Eve cast on of 2019. They are the Simple Skip Socks by Adrian Coo. Coo. Yeah, so I did one green, one red. It totally changes the yarn depending on the mini that you add. Yeah, or if you like me and you want a bit of both, can't decide. These ones, Sophie actually started knitting as well, didn't she? And then yeah, she, she did. Because we all <laughs> went to the cottage. Uh, this is just before COVID hit. 2019 then. We cast on Christmas 2019. Um, and went to the cottage in, I think, maybe February. But I'm over long socks. I was too, but now I'm back. Back on the bandwagon. I'm over them for a minute, just because they take longer. Yeah. But um, lovely. Very cute. I don't know if I would... I don't, it's called the simple skip. I don't know if it was simple. I had to remember it a lot. And do you remember mum was having a little beverage and she tried to knit it and it just went. <laughs> I think she took the other one of mine and it just was like, she's like, you need to fix it. And I was like, you started it with 64 stitches and now there are 18. <laughs> no way. I don't know how to fix that. Not quite as much, but. You're being a bit dramatic. <laughs> it was kind of like that. <laughs> Have you got any other Christmas goodie socks? Yes, I do. Thank you for asking. Well, I used the leftovers of this to knit shorties. Nice. Again, completely different in that. Completely, sister. This is whatever that... I don't know. Is it Drunk Santa? I think it, it is Drunk Sparkle. Santa. And that's just a little slip stitch detail. Do you want to put it in the sock marker? I it's taking do. a wee bit of time. <clears throat> yeah this is just a little slip stitch I did every and so is that your stitches. that's your green from that one a selective no, green no that's a green because it's not sparkle oh. that's just a cascade um, nice green. so that's this one very cute off. oh okay these ones are Christmas yarn but they don't look very Christmassy I can't remember what the yarn they look like was. watermelon is it a bit of sugar I don't remember mm -hmm. sugar that looks so definitely Christmas. Uh, probably could have knit it a wee bit longer. It looks really tiny. That is a pattern by Tracy Miller. It is her shepherdess sock. Didn't you put it in here? Yeah. It does look like watermelon, doesn't it? It does. It looks like watermelon. And there's another one, which is definitely too short for me. But this pattern is. I keep. That looks like trick or treat. My phone away. It's not trick oh, or treat. No, 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 it's no. a more Christmas. It one. was um. From a weird angle. So that's this one. Oh, this is a Christmas 2019 cast on. And is this a same yarn, Natalie? Yep. Winter's Frost. Oh, you've got a wee pattern on this one? Yeah, yeah. So this one's um, The Shepherdess Sock by Tracy Miller. Excuse my grubby fingernails. And then this one is Winter's Frost by This Handmade Life. And it's just got a oh. lace detail <laughs> on one side. Cute. Good. <clears throat> that is, I did not record. Oh, it is a Spiff Sugar Yarns in the colourway Christmas Eve. Oh, nice. That is nice. We do love a bit of Biff Sugar. We do. This one is called My Cup of Tea, the pattern. And this is um, Bird Street Yarns, Satsuma in my stocking. You can get this this Christmas, so... <laughs> I love it. It's not an obvious Christmas colour, right? Oh, the pattern's lovely. But yeah, I love that pattern. That was the first sock pattern I knit as well. Like, pattern. Mm. I knit the Hermione socks, they were a bit plainer. But that was the first, like, detail pattern. pattern that I knit. I on a different pair of socks. Lovely. So, that is Biff Sugar. No, I keep saying that. It's Bird Street Yarns. So, that's in my stocking. Lovely. Cute, and I have. Right, I have a lot of Christmas socks. Yeah, you do. It's 
It's going to take a while. Right. This one is knit out of just cast feed, I think. And these are little Christmas trees. Oh, my God. Itchy nose. There's definitely a pattern for that. Oh, cute. Spruce socks. And I actually get these in August. These are long again, but look, as you can see, the little Christmas That's cute, trees. Isn't that it? is cute. These are called the Spruce Socks by Caitlin Barthold. And it's very subtle. Imagine they were gold, though, against the green. I know. Or even <gasps> sparkle. That'd be cute. Imagine if I did a little duplicate stitch of just a little star on top of each tree. Why don't you do that? I might. That'd be cute. Because it is nice, nice and subtle, um, which is nice. I don't have a lot of socks that are one colour, and I do want to knit I don't remember more. knitting this. I knit that while I was in the cottage. Because I've got a photo of <laughs> yeah, the I'm... cottage table. Um, oh no, it's in Kupnit sock, yeah. In unpronounceable names. Um, <laughs> that's me. Well, it's not really. <laughs> this you have rapid fire without the thing. These are the last two. There's a little scrappy one. Scrappy ones. And these are little leftover ones too. Little short hats. And what's this yarn? Gingerbread man? One of them's gingerbread martini, I think, and one of them is oh, something nice. else gingerbread. -y. Oh, nice. is this a Giddy Ants? <sighs> it's all in your ravelry, ravelry, isn't it? I will put, to the best of my knowledge, I love the little cuff ravelry. you did for this one. It's a little pico cuff. That's nice. I've never done that. It's a, it's an interesting construction because what you do is you knit straight and then you knit. Um, knit two together yarn over for a round then you knit straight and then you fold it in and those pop up you blast me <laughs> sorry but yeah that I wanted nice. to bring all my little scrappies together mm -hmm. that's all my Christmas socks I've only got three pairs oh yeah I forgot we just but it was the Natalie show there I forgot that no I you showed mine some. I showed mine oh you showed them all yeah that was it I don't have any others, that's what I'm saying. I literally only have three pairs of Christmas ones. Well, it's nice that you have one for each year that you've been knitting. True. I feel like I've been knitting most of them. Well, you were knitting on and off because you knit the cupcakes for school. Yeah. Um, and I knit that big blue scarf, remember? Me and Granny knit it. That was a difficult mm -hmm. pattern. Yeah, I know. You didn't start with like I think basics. it was called like Paloma. It was a Paloma pattern. Yeah, you didn't start with basics. You started with difficult patterns. Well, now we can show Christmas yarn. Okay. I do have non-Christmas yarn acquisitions. Okay. Should we start with that? Yeah. Okay. I need another drink. <gasps> because I have something that you haven't seen. What is that? You sure? Oh, I'm sure you haven't seen this. Labianemy. Is it for me? No. Sorry. Labianemy, who are based in Paris, had a little free shipping sale. Correct. Yes, you told me about this. But you haven't seen what I've picked. Right, okay. And also, they're doing 50 gram skeins. Now, it's very expensive. So a 50 gram skein is the price of a normal skein from a different dyer. I have a so Libyan maybe. Here you do. For Christmas for your birthday maybe. So I bought <gasps> who skins. They don't go together. I just bought oh, the ones that I love. I love this one. So that one is a Studio Ghibli inspired yarn. What's it called? Ponyo and Ponyo and Susuki. Susuki. Lovely. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's very watermelon -y. It's summer springy. Yeah. So you should be knitting it, yeah. I will. Love that's so nice, Natalie. So nice, and then this one's lovely too. Is La Belle Epoque very cute? So, do they have a store in um, a they shop used in Paris? They have a shop in Paris, and I really am gutted that I didn't get to go to it because it has is a it little stopped? yellow front. They stopped it, I think, last year. They stopped it, they just die from Paris now. Oh, that's a bit annoying. There. Beautiful. They're very soft. It's very expensive yarn. It's not in my budget. But shipping to where we are would have been another skein. Really? Yeah. It was about 21. Why did I get that? 21. I have one. Because 
Yeah. Oh, I actually ordered that one from Loop London. Ah. So the shipping wasn't as crazy. Uh, my one's but lovely. Ordering as well, isn't directly it? from yeah. Paris means that it's. I did better. see there's a lovely New York buyer. Remember I showed you it? And it's all like pastels and. Oh, they're so lovely, but it's in New York. Mm. I showed you it. Yeah, but when? Like last year? I, see, I saw it from <laughs> Jessie May. No, it wasn't. It was like. Jessie May posted. I'd, I'd reposted someone else who had knit something and they knit it in this colour, and I was like. Mm, no, I don't know that. And it's in New York. So if I ever go to New York, which I want to soon. Then we'll give you a little um, yarn club to do for me. Yeah, it's so nice. I think it's called like Wandering Flock. Mm, that's Let me cute. find. You oh. find that while I talk about my next one. Yeah, I ordered some yarn to knit nail socks because he loves wearing wool socks. So this is West Yorkshire Spinners again. I think this is it's one of their bird ones. Oh, Bullfinch. Grams. I was meant to give up Grams. She wanted you to have them. She's literally finished them. Oh, her socks. Mm -hmm. My granny knits. Look, little sock. Right, can we tell them? Sorry. About granny? Yeah. Sorry. So, <laughs> granny knits socks, tubes, and then I put the ends on. So she's obviously ready to for me to put the heels and toes on. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be for Neil. I bought the black as well, just to put his heels, toes, and cuffs on because he likes long socks. Nice. So I bought that from. This field. Little warehouse. It's rustic. But this is the same yarn. Mm -hmm. It's not rustic. It's, it's the same yarn the granny's knitting. Same yarn granny's knitting, but it's also the same yarn that my the tinsel one. Tinsel socks are made out of. Yeah. Nice, so lovely. Thing. Don't do what Neil does and put them in the wash repeatedly on spin cycles to felt. Why? Well, let's see. So they could be a stocking now. Well, like a really tiny, tight stocking because he's just felt a bit. But why? I'm confused. Why? Uh, we are at home. Oh, okay. It's a source of contention in our house. Well, just as a little, um, I did find. Oh yeah, the Instagram. Sure that's okay. So that's not going to be flipped then. Okay. But look how, like, look at that. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I didn't like it. How weird. I like it now. The uh, look, see. Do you she think she hates hers? <gasps> yeah, that's lovely. I oh, realize. that makes me think of like marshmallows. marshmallows. Flumps. <gasps> flumps. Oh, I hate the word flump. So, shall I show my other acquisitions this week? Because we're now going to Christmas. Yes. Okay. Bird Street Yarns arrived today. This one is based on. You can hold that one. This one is based on the snowman. Well, cute, what's it called? Walking in the air. You know the snow? Yes, one? yes. The books, the illustration. You can see, you can see oh, what that is. That's so, so nice. I was really excited for this because that's a very nostalgic thing for us, isn't it? And what colour are you going to pair it with? I might just do it on its own. Yeah, because I always have yarn left over. Unless you want some. No. And then I could put a mini with it, but I always... Don't I like think... deprive yourself of the sock you want. Oh, you're right, Claire. So that is walking in the air, and then that one is something about red reindeer games. So you bought this recently? Yeah, it yeah, arrived today. Mm. That one's sparkle. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Yes, it's lovely, beautiful. I didn't, I didn't see those. So I bought those like in the last week, but I bought this one last year, which I also have this year. Looks a bit messier, but this is Drunken Santa. Yeah, that's nice. I had to reskin it. Wait, so it up, messy. is this your second Drunken Santa? So those are the ones mustn't be Drunken Santa? Mustn't be. Okay. Because this is my Drunken Santa. Yeah. So I have a little collection of um, Bird Street Yarns Christmas socks. I have two as well. So have you got Bird yes. Street to show? Yeah. Okay, well then let's go Bird Street. Yeah. So this is from last year. Oh, I, love I bought, didn't get time to knit up, mm -hmm. um, and it's Elf Service and it's sparkle. It's this is more pink than that one. That one's definitely. <gasps> oh a my true god, red. I love that! I just love that. 
so nice. I, but I was like, Chloe, I could have half of that if we could have matched results. She's just like, no. I didn't. I said yes. Did you? But maybe not. I was saying no. I thought you said no. No. Well, maybe you were just being cheeky. No, I wasn't. You were being cheeky. But yes, look at the wee bits of green and all. Nice. Green and all. Stop that. And then this was actually one um, which is annoying that I, I made it into a cake because I didn't end up knitting it. But this is Gingerbread Man and it's also Sparkle by Bird Street. That's one of my Christmas socks. So sparkly. Shoot. But um, yeah. It's lovely. So this is what I think I'm going to cast on yeah. now. I have, are you going to put them anywhere? Because I have some minis. Yes, well I have, um, these are all just little ones, but those won't go obviously. No. But I do have these, oh what's that? Oh, oh. I've got red. Okay, so let's show the full skin. So that's really lovely. I love the sparkle for Christmas. So those are Bird Street Noreen's Christmassy skins. Oh, upside down. Cute. Cute. <laughs> I said that they were cheeky, but I whispered it so it wasn't like, ha ha ha. <laughs> Very nice. Don't make the gingerbread out. It's also oh, one. Yeah. Cute. And look how subtle, like you could definitely do like a fade with theirs and they like they post pictures of all of their Christmas yarns and they go together. Oh it's actually called I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, cute. Lovely. So let's put those there. Then I also pulled another couple of skeins out. These are not Christmas skeins but I love mint colours at Christmas. Quite nice. similar. So this one's a Bird Street one called Miami Vice. But you could spin as a Christmas yarn. Yeah, like the Satsuma Santa sort yeah. of thing. Like, do you know, like peppermint creams or something? Right, I'm thinking more ice, snow, mm -hmm. frost. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then this peppermint. one's called Shoreline from Pixie Yarn. Oh, oh, I love that one. I remember I wanted it. I didn't it's get it. It's lovely. So I like a wee bit of mint at Christmas. I think it, it can be nice. I have lots of this as well, actually. That's really nice together. That is nice together. Cute. So, um, oh, I should show this. Oh, oh, that's my sock. Where were I? Um, this is a little Christmas present I got from Granny last year. Cute. So cute. I've been wanting one of her bags. This is the Blue Rabbit House, where she does these water, these little illustrations herself, and puts them in a little bag. Hmm. I told Granny I was going to use it as my handbag. Isn't it the Because it has this and she was not impressed. She didn't want me to use it as a handbag. Not actually going to use it as a handbag. But isn't it the Gruffalo thing? No? I thought it was the Gruffalo... The Gruffalo mice? No, no. Oh, seriously? These are her own um, illustrations. Oh, I always thought it was Gruffalo. She's got some really beautiful ones. They're nice. So I'll have to have a look and see if she's any more Christmas ones. But very cute little Christmas bag. For my Christmas things. So what I did was I have this is it looks crazy. <laughs> it's another West Yorkshire spinners and it's going to stripe. It looks nicer when you do that. Yeah. Oh imagine that looks like a big lollipop. It does, yeah. It's gonna stripe. That's nice. Are so... these for Neil? No, I don't know. Oh if you ever want them. You're not the reminds of like elf. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Cute. So that's another little Christmas yarn. So then what I did was... How many socks are you going to cast on this Christmas? No, don't judge me. I have to know. Jumper for Granny. I know. I'm just thinking. I've got a little leftover Satsuma. This one is some sort of winter frost colouring. That was to do with your bag. Matching with your bag with the green. Do you remember who died that picture? I don't know. I don't think I remember who, pick, who died that. Um, and then on my leftover shortbread. The Gideons, yeah. So I have some leftovers that I can make some scrappy um, socks with. Mm -hmm. But what I also did was I pulled out a load of minis that we could put them together. Because my whole thing was, I'm not going to buy any more yarn. I'm going to knit till I have a half so much Christmas yarn. And then I bought a lot of Christmas yarn. 
I haven't bought any Christmas yarn. I've and I have another package of Christmas yarn coming. From me. And you've got your advent calendar. <laughs> My other package is coming from Botanically Gardens. And how could I forget? I also bought my little Christmas yarn that I showed last time. From Lonely Mountain Yarns. Oh, yes. Love you haven't that. seen that in person? I haven't seen Isn't it person. such a rich colour? Yeah. It's like Home Alone vibes. Yeah. That's what I said. So nice. So that's obviously going to be cast on. I don't know. I have a lot. <laughs> but what I also have is I pulled out a lot of minis. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like a wee stripey sock. So, first little group of minis that I've pulled together are these. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, is this for one sock? Yeah. So I would never think of putting them all together. No. Well, definitely you would put those together. Yeah. But I like the little pop of mint. Kind of breaks it up a bit. Mm. You don't like the mint? I think I prefer it without. It's nice like that, actually. But I do think I prefer it with the... Well, I was thinking if I did it without, it would be very like our shortbread socks that we already have. True. It is lovely. It is nice. But I like the mint too. Yeah, the mint's lovely. So, that's a little option. Mm -hmm. um, and then another little... So basically we're expecting like 10 pairs of socks. 10 pairs of socks cast on. <laughs> with a group of necklace. And then I thought these could be like little like Christmas like a little traditional Christmas tree. Oh yeah, cute. That's cute. Not really traditional though. Is that traditional? Well, this is traditional yeah. Christmas tree. So that's like then... a funky tree. Hmm? Like a yeah, the yeah, coloured yeah, light right. tree. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Not like reds and golds. Yes. Yeah. That's what I take it for. You're correct. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be nice. It's nice, isn't mm -hmm. it? Maybe I could even do some colour work. How nice would that be? Like a zigzag one? That'd be mm -hmm. quite nice. Yeah. That'd be nice. In a little bag I made last year. Did we show the... No, haven't yet. So every... I hate sewing. Like I said. Every time. And still I persist. Because I won't let it beat me. But I like to make Chloe and I little project bags. Are you making these on your own? Yeah. No. <laughs> you said you'd like to make... Us. So am I there? Yeah. Well, I hate sewing, so you can help me. I got some fabric. How nice. This is the one I picked. <gasps> oh, something on them. That. Cute. I love the Santa. I love the little Christmas trees have little faces on them. They're cute. And then I got some like matching fabric. And where did you get these from? Uh, Will Warehouse. Will Warehouse, and they're just fat quarters, aren't they? Yeah. Is that what you call them? Yeah. So, the project bag that I make for us for socks, the little drawstring one now, you can get two bags out of one fat quarter, quarter for like the main. Mm hmm. They are, that is nice. It is nice, isn't it? Mm hmm. The wee face on it. Did you show the face? Yeah. Look at the wee face. So, um,. We will have to figure out when we're making those because it's busy. after the wedding, that's for sure. Yeah. So I bought some fabric for us to have little festive bags. Bags. Do you have anything else you want to show? No, that's me. I think. Yeah. It's a lot that's of yarn. Everything. Hopefully, we will have maybe maybe we could do an episode on like Christmas Eve and like show our things. But then it'll be posted after Christmas. Maybe we should film our little biscuit day. We could do. But it's we'll a see. Bit mental. Yeah, it does get busy. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that's everything for me. We are busy today because we're going to go downstairs and do a practice run of our mum's wedding cake. Mm hmm. A bit nervous. No need to be nervous. I know, we have a cake before. We've made cake before. I know, but it's not this wedding cake. That's like good. It will look good. You need to have the confidence. I do need, I don't have any. No. <laughs> well, we will need to crack on with that. 
Yes. Um, thanks for coming back. Yeah. You weren't quite as cheeky, I don't think. No, I don't think I was as cheeky. A bit nicer this time. <laughs> um, so that's everything for, from us. Thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Bye!